guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my 20 week pregnancy update. If you follow me on Twitter you would have seen that I was hoping and planning on doing a vlog for my gender scan which I've just had like yesterday. I didn't vlog it for one and I also running up to the scan was so nervous when I was in there and the woman was scanning me I forgot to ask what I'm actually having. So I'm hoping I'm gonna ring my midwife in my town and ask her if like what's the chances of me being scanned again if not I'm gonna have to book a 3d scan to find out what I'm having I'm still sticking with my gut instincts I still think I'm having a little girl um, my boyfriend's still stuck with it he still thinks that we're having a little girl even though we've seen the scan and like even though we wasn't majorly looking out for it we just feel like we didn't see a winky um, so yeah, we still feel like we're having a little girl, but knowing us, we're probably really wrong as well. So I'm 20 weeks and six days tomorrow. So um, I'm getting closer and closer to my third trimester, which is really scary because it just feels like this pregnancy has flown by. Um, and it's been so, I feel like compared to horror stories that I've read and just other people's experiences that I've heard and I've, I've asked about um, my pregnancy has been like a breeze so far so I'm really really lucky and privileged to have had such an easy ride so far. This past two weeks I'd probably say I've become a lot more tired and irritable and I don't know if that's pregnancy related but I know there's a lot of hormones going around in my body or there's not I don't know <laughs> there's something but I'm a lot more irritable and it's affecting a lot of everything I do um, it's definitely putting a strain on me and my partner as well just because I'm s everywhere I c he's trying he's trying his very best like bless him he, he really is but I am being an absolute handful and not really that pleasant to be around at the moment also if you s I don't know if I would put it anywhere yet um, I've got my spots are just everywhere they're not going they're not easing up and nothing I do is helping at all. Again, I think it's due to the hormones in my body. Um, because, I mean, I, I've gone days, like almost a week with no makeup wearing. And my face just doesn't seem to be easing up. So, um, I definitely think there's a lot of hormones in my body. Maybe a girl as well. Um, when we went for the 20 week scan yesterday, I was so nervous for it. I got myself in really bad anxiety for it I was just the whole lead up to it and everything I was bricking it um but as soon as we was in there my baby the lady managed to find the heart really nicely she's found everything really perfectly normal and she was also measuring stuff like the skull and the spine and things um diabetics are prone to having bigger babies but everything was measuring either just under what I am like 19 weeks or perfectly fine so I feel really relieved as well that my baby's growing at a healthy moderate rate and isn't so far an absolute lump in my belly as for my belly I feel like that's just that's just out of control and go freaking crazy I've got a scan picture here um the scan went really, 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 really well. Really well. Um, I don't know if you could notice. Um, when we was in there, I took my partner in with me because I went up to the hospital clinic, the clinic appointment with my mum, my sister, and my partner, um, just because I was that nervous. Um, but me, me and my boyfriend went into the room when I was being scanned, and um, yeah, he was laughing his head off because. He seems to reckon that the child has my lips already because the scanner lady was also looking for like a cleft lip and stuff and my boyfriend seems to reckon that he saw the baby pouting and I just he just takes the mick out of me constantly for having big lips so diabetes wise I don't think it's pregnancy related at all um, but on Saturday we're now on Thursday on Saturday I had a hypoglycemic fit 
but the consultants didn't seem too worried about it when we went up and told them. So yeah, I've had a hypoglycemic fit which in my pregnancy, which is quite crazy. Um, I didn't think I was going to. And I think I'm gonna leave it for another video, but I think it's due to my insulin pump and just components that work with my pump not communicating properly. Um, so I'll leave that for another video, whatever. Oh, one last thing. Um, my boobs officially do not fit in my bra and it's very annoying. I find myself constantly having to just lift it all up and tuck them all in and I don't know if I was two weeks ago but my titties have started leaking and it's going to sound really weird but if you squeeze, squeeze the nip, I think, I believe it's colostrum coming out at the moment. Um, and I've done research online, I live online, I basically anything that I think might have changed or whatever, I'll just look it up online, um, but everywhere online seems to say that it's, you know, not, not a bad thing at all if you are producing and releasing colostrum at 20 weeks and it makes the whole breastfeeding process a lot easier and a lot, um, a lot softer on your body because it can be quite harsh and quite painful. Um, I don't know how true that is, but I'm hoping it's very true. So I don't really feel like I've got any bigger, but there's definitely a bump forming. And uh, yeah, and I've still got, I've still got my innie belly button, so that's my belly. This is my baby. Um, there's two scam pictures, but this is the better picture, I feel. Anyway, um, just mainly of its head. It's got a big head like its mama, so yeah, healthy baby, healthy mama. Everything's going really well so far, and I'm super happy. One last thing before I go, which I've just remembered. Now I've forgotten. Any supplements that I'm taking, in case you're wondering, I am currently taking vitamin D and... Aspirin in 75 milligrams, um, they're so easy to buy from the shop, the woman that scanned me suggested the vitamin D just to continue and just to give extra vitamins to my baby to help the baby with its growth, bone growth and stuff, and the aspirin just to keep my blood pressure low and reduce any risk of preeclampsia which they are scared for so if you've enjoyed this video leave a comment down below join me on my adventure and i'll see you all in the next video bye